Okay, Code Baker, so last time we left off, George is able to make friends in his new town, Happy Bay Village. Uh, there's no barriers right now. We're going to set up a check to see if George has picked up some baked goods to bring over. And the reason is because the people in the village, they're, you know, some of them might be pretty busy. And they're friendly, um, and, but if you give them a baked good, they may feel obligated to invite you to dinner. In the friend component, go to the on collision portion, this method that's built into the uh, collidable and hitbox. And let's set up a check. So if the game, remember we passed the game, so I have access to all the game variables. Baked goods inventory, that's the variable that we're using to hold the number of, of baked goods in inventory. If it's greater than zero, then George will successfully make a new friend here. I don't want to send a message that you need to buy friendship, but you know, it's just the person might feel a little bit obligated if you did give them an apple pie or something. And so they may actually just reprioritize their schedule. Otherwise, it just may take more time to make friends. Uh, so it, even if you, you either made the friend or you don't make the friend, but unfortunately, this game right now is a bit unforgiving. You're just going to have this one shot. So if you show up, uh, there's going to be no directions for the game at this point. If you show up there without an apple pie, uh, they're going to be happy to meet you. But uh, yeah, it's actually not going to move to the next step of this getting to know your neighborhood and friendship, at least not in the duration of the game here. However, if you did show up with an apple pie or a chocolate cake, uh, they're going to be kind of overwhelmed with emotion because you brought such a great uh, gift. And they're going to think, wow, I I've got to do something in return, right? Uh, it's just, they're just going to feel obligated. So they'll invite you to dinner. I even though they're they're pretty busy on the weekend, um, you know, they're going to make time. Maybe after the soccer game for the kids or something. And otherwise, they'll apologize. But... Uh, you know, they're, they're either way, they, they have to go off to some uh, meeting, uh, but they're just thinking, wow, uh, this person just, George just moved in. You know, maybe we should meet. Um, of course, if you bring the baked goods, they're going to like right there say, okay, we got to, we got to take care of this. So come over on Saturday at 7 p.m. Right now, we're going to print out the message in the debug console, but then we'll get on screen eventually. So the first thing is George attempts to make a friend, but because the Bates Goods inventory is uh, less than one, uh, or it's it's not greater than zero, then he's not able to actually move on that friendship right now because the person has to go off to work. But let's see if George picks up um, maybe a chocolate cake. Oh, hopefully he baked it himself, right? And he's making a friend. I actually need to reduce the number of baked goods in the inventory when they meet, but I'll take care of that in the future. So right now, let's set up another folder for the dialog, and I'll drop in a, a text dialog box in here. So let's create a new file within the dialog folder, and let's call it... Um, well, I kind of want to use it for George too. So I'll just call it dialog underscore box dot D-A-R-T. And we'll set up a new class in here that's going to ex extend the text box component from Flame. It's going to be similar to one of the sprite components or the sprite animation component or the position component. Uh, this one will be a text box component. And this is... Uh, one of the components from the flame system and we'll call it dialog box and well um we're gonna need some information from the game in this uh, dialog box in in the constructor so i'm gonna have it be required to pass the game over here then we're going to initialize a few things in the uh, the super class. So it's the name of the flame game that we created, which is my George game. 
The text box component has a number of properties that we can set. So when we instantiate the class, we're going to initialize the super class with um, a bunch of different properties, in including the configuration of the box itself. The first property is text, which is that piece of text which is going to appear in the box. So we're going to have a, some type of dialog appear on the screen for George and for the neighbors. Uh, on line 8, uh, that's a typo that should be a comma, not a semicolon. Uh, that's why it's red. And then there's this new one, box config. Okay, so th this is also from Flame, and we're going to pass it the text box config. This dismiss delay is five seconds. And after the text appears on the screen, it's going to disappear. We're going to remove the component after five seconds. And it's the max width of this text box component. So we'll make it half the width of the screen uh, that will be appearing. The time per character, do you know how a typewriter comes out? Like tick, 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 tick. So we're setting the time per character pretty slow right now. It's going to be 0 0.5 seconds. So the text will be appearing pretty slowly. Uh, we can speed it up after in order to get the right effect. We're going to set the anchor to the bottom right portion of the text box component of, or this dialog box. because the position is the game size, right? So the game size is the width and height of the game. So if the anchor is the bottom right, the thing will be aligned, the box will be aligned at the bottom right. So this is new uh, method, draw background, which is going to accept the canvas. And we're going to draw the, uh, the background of the box here. The rect dot from LTWH, that's left top with height. So it's the it's the zero zero of the text box component. Then we're gonna draw the rect from this is from the Dart UI. So the the rect, although it looks a little maybe tough, right? Because it's LTWH, and unless you're familiar with it, you may be a little bit oh, what's that? It's just left top with height. Then you have the rect, and you're, you're painting it with the Dart UI. To get the color to paint the background box, I want a transparency. So I'm going to grab the same level of transparency. It's kind of a darker gray with the alpha channel enabled to about 50% roughly transparency. And then we'll have a semi-transparent background with some lighter uh, lighter text in the front. There's a property or a uh, getter uh, to to see whether the text has finished writing. So in the update method of the dialog box component that we just created, we're going to do a check to see if the dialog is finished. So this is finished. It's, it's built into the a text box component and if it's finished then we're going to remove the text box component so if you remember we set a delay of five seconds after five seconds it will be removed the dismiss delay is five seconds after the last character has appeared on the screen the characters or the, the you know the, the alphabet characters are being uh, separated by 0 0.5 seconds Similar to the other flame components that we're using, I'm going to, I'm still putting this thing in main at this current time. Although I think I should break it out into like a game dot dart or something. But right now it's still in main and we're going to set up the dialog box as late because we're going to instantiate it within the onload method. So we'll just call it dialog box. And in the onload, then we'll instantiate it and set up our first piece of text. The first piece of text is going to be a greeting from George to the, 
I guess to the user, right? To the to the player here. So we'll set up the dialog box. The initial message will be from George. We have to pass it the game and some piece of text here. So in Dart, you can stretch a single string over multiple lines without having to use the plus sign if you just use single quotes. So at, at the end of the first line, I have just, there is a space and then put another single quote. After that, there's no comma, there's no plus sign. You can just work on the next line here. This is just a shortcut. So at the end of every line, I do have a, a space if it's the end of a sentence or the end of a word. And when you finish all the, the entire string, uh, then you can close the dialog box with the right round parentheses and a semicolon. And like the other components of the Flame system, we have, somebody need to add it. And this component, theoretically, it should be automatically removed five seconds after the last character is displayed. So it's looking good. Um, I think it the the background is a good tone or it's a good shade here, good transparency, and it does disappear. All right, so this it's not going to permanently affect our game. So the plot is, or the sequence is George first appears. He has an introduction. It kind of has a basic goal of the game, which is to make friends. But initially, there's no real clue how to make friends. And the game is going to be a little bit unforgiving at this point because uh, the user, the player, is not going to know that he needs to pick up some baked goods to actually you know, get to this next level. We can make it a bit more forgiving in the future, maybe set up a timer and the neighbor comes back out. However, at this point in our game development, we'll just set up a message and it's either hit or miss, right? So as a developer, you know that the if you don't bring a baked good here, you're not gonna be able to make friends. Uh, kind of sad, but um, we'll make the game a little bit more forgiving in the future. It's not really buying friendship again so much as just you know, trying to get into the person's schedule. So we'll set up the message as a string and we'll set up the dialog box. We're using game because it was passed to the button uh, component uh, set, this overlay, when we, instant, when we uh, first set up the overlay. Okay, let's see whether it works. So we have the nice George Green and uh, players thinking, whoa, such a happy game. The, even the, the village is, is named Happy Bay Village. And George picks up a piece of chocolate cake. Inventory is at one. And he successfully makes a friend with this beautiful message. Um, unfortunately, the chocolate cake or, or the this baked goods inventory did not decrease when we uh, interacted with the neighbor. So we'll have to change that in the code. Just continue testing it for a bit. So in the, on the collision portion of the friend component, uh, right when they increment the friend number, uh, we're going to decrement the number of baked goods inventory. Man, it really does seem that you're buying friendship with, with apple pie. But you're not. You're not. So it's just a um, kind of a social interaction here. Okay, so we're... George introduced himself. Picks up the, the chocolate cake. Chocolate cake looks delicious. Brings it over. The chocolate cake uh, in, the, in the lower... Uh, inventory bar it did decrease now it's at zero uh, he just picked up a cheesecake and it's working with a second friend so right now the game's looking pretty good we we have some dialogue text and we have a, a bit of a challenge for George uh, it is somewhat unforgiving in that if he doesn't pick up the cake you can't really make friends with that neighbor again at least not right now so we'll have to 
change that. Maybe the neighbor, you know, comes out again. We're a bit uh, constrained by the fact that we're not using tiles at this stage. So I can't remove the neighbor right now. But let's copy and paste the dialog box into the uh, section where uh, George, you know, he shows up without the baked goods. So there'll be a slightly different message. Polite, you know, it's like, oh, hey, um, like, like to meet, but I have to run to a meeting, basically. So we'll just change the message in the if statement. And initially, we'll, we'll set up the message to an empty string. But we'll set it in either case, right? So it's either going to be, um, yes, let's be friends, or, hey, sorry, I have to run right now. Hopefully, we'll meet later. Oh, I think at this stage, what I'll do is I'll go back to tiled and set up a maybe a very simple map. Uh, this particular map was part of the demo from Lion Zoo, the author of the title, The Tiles. I'd love to get your feedback. If you have any problems, the source code is actually on the Teachable site with a bunch of additional information as well, too. But the Teachable site is 100% free. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.